hi there welcome back in this html tutorial for beginners series i'm going to be talking about styling and colors in html okay this is not a complete css video okay i have a set different set of playlists talking about css but i'm only going to show you the possibility of or how you can add colors to your html elements all right so in this part we're going to be using a style tag okay now and a, a style tag is used to set the style the styling of an html document okay we use style tag to set the style of our html document talking about colors font the font size the text alignment these are the things we're going to be talking about in this video okay so i'm only going to scratch the surface we are not going in depth all right so let's begin because i don't like talking this is a practical lecture and i will not waste my time speaking on and on and on we're going to be doing the practical work here so the first attribute i want to talk about is changing a text color changing the text color so we we'll start by first of all putting a paragraph so i'll put p tag like this and then i'll hit enter now let's go ahead and pass some information here all right so let's see the color of this text is what blue the color of this text is blue and now the next thing we want to do is to what change the text color so that's the first attribute changing text color so let's go ahead and we have just learned about attributes in my last series okay so inside this p tag all we need to do is to put style and this style is an attribute like that okay so put style and then put equal to quotation after that just put color c l o c o l r like this and then you can hit enter fantastic now you put column semicolon and inside here specify your color Okay, so we'll put here blue. Perfect. So this is an attribute with some properties inside, and we have color, and the color we have specified the color to be what blue. Now let's go back to our browser. I'll take it to the browser. And then we reload this page. So control R. And you can see the color of this text is blue. So that's the first styling, changing the color of text. Okay. Next, let's go ahead and then change the background color of our text. So all right, so let's enter our second text. But first, we need to put paragraph. So we'll put P tag. And then we hit enter. Close it. Now, inside this, we need to put text there. Okay. So, we say the background color of this text is what let's use red okay so the background color of this text is red okay so next we need to put our style in so i'll go inside the p tag give some space and then i'll enter style and this time we need to put a property so that's background color now let's go inside here and then enter our red good let's go back to our browser 
you can see the background color of this text is red you can see we have a background there which is what red let's go ahead and change the font style of our document so we'll leave room like this and put put p there that's and inside this p we need to put some text okay so let's put something like let's change the font the font type of this what text let's change the font type of this text so we're going to change the font type of this text okay let's go back to our browser let's go back there and then we reload you can see let's change the font type of this text so to change our font style right now it is like this this is the default font style or font type okay so let's go back there and then change our font so to do so go to your p tag and put style style to quote now we need to put font family so put font hyphen family like this And then you put colon, give some space and put semicolon. Now inside here, and you put fantasy, fantasy. This is a font family, fantasy. Okay. After that, we go back to the browser, we reload. I can see let's change the font type of this text so this is a what a font family called fantasy okay there is yet another font family interesting font family i want to discuss with you so we'll simply come down and put our paragraph which is p tag hit enter now this so let's put the this font family is cool like this so let's go ahead and then put our style in inside our opening tag of p and our style and then inside the style i'll put font family so font family now inside here i need to put a font family call cursive cursive so c u r s i v okay so cursive cursive so this is a font family that interests me okay i like it a lot so let's go back and then reload page you can see this font family is cool so this font family is called cursive okay all right now let's talk about another or a different styling method which is changing the font size the font size of our html document so i'll scroll down and then i need to put my p tag once again okay let's enter our text let's see changing the font family sorry the font size size of our text of our text changing the font family of our text good now inside this opening tag we put style hit enter now we need to put font 
size and then hyphen to size there after that you come you go inside and then you can put some figure okay so let's say 300 percent so your first size can be in percentage it can be in pixels okay so let's put it in percentage so percent but before that we need to okay remove it now let's go back to our document and then reload and this is the current and default font size i have without any uh maybe figure inside so we'll now put our figure which is 300 percent and then we reload this page and it's going to be a very big font size you can see that very big okay you can also put it in pixels so let's remove the percentage and put px so px and then we come back to our browser and reload and then this is going to be a very huge font size okay so don't do that all right so that is font size now in this part of the video we're going to talk about text alignment as a styling method okay text styling methods okay so let's go ahead and enter our text and then align it all right so to begin with we need our paragraph so i'll put my p tag hit enter and i'll say this is left i'll come down put another p tag and say this is what this is center 